Today Akharai has moved into Beersheba and I'm speaking to you from one of the poorest communities here in the city. The nature of the community here is that everybody is essentially below the poverty line. There's a terrible social economic climate and we're here today helping to renovate bomb shelters. When we first walked into the bomb shelter, it was like overwhelming. I was, I felt so, like sucked in, nowhere to move. And basically the entire floor was flooded and it was basically a huge mess. There was like garbage everywhere. But then as you realize like what happens, like I was one person in it when everyone in the city comes when there's a, when there's a siren. And just knowing what we're doing to help them, like. We heard a story about a, a siren and the doors were locked. We couldn't, they couldn't get in. And we're here fixing that so they can have shelter and a place to be when, God forbid, there's a bomb scare. When there's alarms, people, like, because like, you're getting attacked, um, people don't want to go to the bomb shelters because they're not nice, they're like run down, and they're really dirty inside. So by doing this, we're making it more accessible for everyone. And are actually going to want to go. And we, so everyone just started like taking swiffers and pushing all the water into the drains. We literally filled up the entire drain. We had to take out the grid because there was just too much water. And I think we filled about like 30 of these buckets and took it upstairs to dump it. And now we finally got the floor dry. We cleaned the floor, we painted inside, we cleaned outside here. It was a huge mess. We're sweeping the floors. We're painting outside. It's challenging, it's sweaty, and it's harder because of the heat, but it's really worth it. It's, it feels great knowing that you're making a difference. You know, on the whole, the, the group is from a middle class uh, community in the suburbs of Montreal. I'm not sure how many times they've loaded a dumpster onto a garbage truck. And yet, just before, that's exactly what we were doing. We take a look around with their own hands. They're collecting up garbage from the floor. We have brooms, we have dustpans, but on the whole, we're getting our hands dirty, trying to clean up this poor socio-economic neighborhood of Beersheba. <laughs> we're sweaty, we're dirty, we're in pain, but demolition's awesome. I literally just got thrown through a wall. Woo! You got to punch down a wall, you got to see me. Wah! <laughs> it's really loud in the bomb shelter right now. Everyone's working really hard. All the boys and the girls just kicked and hammered down the wall. And it's a lot of fun. The improvement from the start to now has really been in extreme. There was dirt and glass and chairs and tables everywhere and now it's all gone and it's starting to look a lot fresher we painted the walls which was really nice it's gonna become uh it's gonna really look like something in the end and yeah. we're really proud uh, yesterday after a morning of hard work we came here today to find the place completely trashed and destroyed oh. with tape uh and just clothes and garbage just everywhere and uh, we found out from the neighborhood people that it's actually just kids who have no they have nothing to do they have no TV at home and it's such a poor area where they'll just come here and you know for the sake of entertainment they'll just start you know, throwing the things around like which shows that in a neighborhood that we are working in it's not quite lucky it's a poor neighborhood people are, are searching for anything that they could potentially have for their homes and, and it just really shows that they're desperate for absolutely anything and they'll go through garbage cans and, and ruins just to get the littlest, littlest of value. It's very frustrating for us after we worked really hard yesterday to come and see this and it's just an unfortunate situation but we're here today ready to clean it up again and hopefully it'll stay clean this time. But you know what, I think that this is, a, this is a good thing as well because along the way to trying to make the world a better place you're going to come into setbacks, you're going to encounter difficulties and to see the disappointment on the students' faces here this morning it was a learning experience, it was a growth experience. We rolled up our sleeves, we redoubled our efforts and we started cleaning up again. 
The work that's being done today will be forever like remembered by everyone who is going to come here for shelter. Now, when you see on the news that there are bombs in Israel or in Beersheba, and they, we, we know that we have to, they have to run to take cover in their bomb shelters. It's a, it's a comforting feeling to know that we made a, a really bad situation a lot better for them. It's very rewarding to think of all the people that we can help and uh, all of the families in the neighborhood that will be able to find some safety in the shelters that we're renovating. Uh, we've put a lot of work and uh, a lot of hard work and a lot of effort into this and really thinking about all of the people that we can make safe is, is what makes it all worth it.